Objective perspective. Nick TSP here, going to meet Sergi Nicholas, world champion street border. Gonna be incredible. Here we are in Central Park, heading out to Strawberry Fields. Sergi and I have been trying to meet up out in California, but it just so happened that we were in New York City the same time he was. So, about to meet up for the first time in a couple years of communicating, and it's gonna be a blast. So, I'm gonna try to get this going, focused on Sergi when we meet him, if he's here right now. <coughs> but this, that is the Dakota Hotel, ladies and gents. That's where John Lennon, sadly, met his fate. And this is one of my old stomping grounds growing on up. So to meet Sergi Nicholas here is gonna be absolutely incredible as a world champion street boarder. So now we just gotta get ourselves into the area. So here we are in Strawberry Fields out here in New York City. I remember when George Harrison passed away, I was out here with an old buddy of mine playing some Beatles jams and skating. Beautiful day out here in New York City. And soon enough, we're bumping into the man himself, Sergio Nicholas. This is the man himself, Sergi Nicholas. Good to see you, sir. A pleasure, brother. A pleasure. I've been watching you on the internet for years now. This is the man, Sergi Nicholas. It's a pleasure to meet you, man. Oh, hi, man. Apologize, Sergi. Katie, nice Nick, to meet you. Nick, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. Awesome, I'm glad you found That's Sergi's other half, man. I'm stoked right now. Serge, you look just like in the, in the videos, bro. <laughs> you look like your videos too, same, thank, same. Thank you, sir. It's been many years and I just roll around. You actually just kill it, bro. Yeah, so you too, you too, you too. You um, kill it. Hey, listen, NK, you know what I want to do, actually? You want me to hold it? Yes, I'll and I'll just sort of that. segue you in, like, in an edit so, so everyone can see. Okay. Katie, Sergi, man, nice. it's the crew right there. Katie, whenever you want to start recording. I'm filming. Around. We're Okay, I'll, I'll put that in there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, this is Sergi Nicholas, world champion street border. Here we are in Central Park, New York City. My old stomping grounds. This is where I grew up snakeboarding, doing demos in Central Park right here, Sergi. That's sick. In 95, I did one of like, the first competitions of snakeboarding. Kelly Dean came out. Jay Beatty was out. This is like when I used to sort of just see them like on the old VHS tapes. Can you, can you snake it like this? If you remember that old yeah. snakeboard, like you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like the old, seen that one. The old infomercial. Yeah. And I, I actually hurt my leg. I couldn't compete better off because I would have made a, a mess of myself because those guys were shredding and I was not at their level at that point. Um, and even at the point, they were always shredders. So um, that's where I met my old buddy Jujo, Julio Martinez from Brooklyn, right. Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Jujo is one of the original OG snakeboarders. Mm -hmm. The real freaking DL, Serge. You should go meet him. I, I, I've i been trying to find Jujo. Jujo, if you see this dog, you know your boy Nick's here, man. Dude. I miss you, bro. Sergi wants to meet you too, I dog. I want to meet you. It's been since 98, 99. No, 
96 since I seen Jimmy 20 Joe. years. 96, yeah, 22, 20 plus years. We, we used to do demos all throughout the Northeast. Like, we used to do, like, like demos where they would put us up in the hotels, and there'd be bands, and we would do, like, Good the, times. It was the good times. <laughs> now, Sergi hears this, and he's like, man, I just come from, like, Thailand and around the world. So, Sergi is what this new generation is, but he's old school also. So, Can we zoom in on his shirt? Right yes, please. That snake represent? Yeah, repping that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Okay, so what is that? It's a brand from Spain. Okay, right on. I have to get that up on our website. So, so we're do everything on our website. Sure. So, Serge, I'm just gonna like keep rapping here, but I just want to like you know really make this chill and yeah. dog. When did you get out to New York City, and what brought you out here? Well, I got here like uh, two days ago. Uh, my girlfriend is from Portland, Oregon, and her family lives like outside of New York. So oh, let's see. we came here for a couple days, and then we are heading tomorrow morning to see he, her grandparents. Get out of town! So basically, we all got in here the same time without even knowing it. Everybody, I flew That's in true. literally two days ago, I know. <laughs> or yesterday morning, actually, the day after. I saw Sergi. Um, uh, 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 Christoph, is it from Germany? Yeah, he's from Germany. He's is that the picture you took of Brooklyn, or is that yes. Jason? No, that's Okay, because I messaged Christoph. Jason. I thought, okay, that was Christoph. Yeah. He was pulling a fat, like, was it stale fish? Just a fat tail grab. Tail grab, big fat tail grab. And I was like, man, I miss those days. My knees, I don't know if they'll allow me, but... I'm mm, sure they will. I gotta try the street board. You should. I gotta try... I, you know, I had a Highland. Highlander? Yeah, Highland. Hi Highland. Six years ago. They went out of business. Okay, I mean, it was, I, it was one of the probably like when they first started. I guess it was like maybe the, the fifty five er, the fifty five, like yeah. the bigger one. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, being a snake boarder, it's, it's very flexible because the bar, you, you know what I mean. As Sergio sure. knows, like the, the snake board was the bar. The street board, I, which I think is the dopest thing, has. The, the middle like a skateboard and I always envisioned yeah. that I want you to know everybody streetboarding when I was skateboarding I always thought why don't they have a freaking board man like you know like a skateboard yeah, we could pull fat sure. rail slides we'd be able to do it on that little bar that was crazy <laughs> I used to my elbows were like this and my you know <laughs> mine are like this now so uh, let me see that again uh, uh, they're quite bad here and there yeah was that tattoo is that black flag yeah it's a black flag it, 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 the, the band Black Flag? No, no. Okay, no. but it's just the Black Flag. <laughs> cool band too, Black Flag. <laughs> Dog, um, what is you know the competitions? The world, the world street ball competition is just happening. Yeah. You play second. 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 Correct. Uh, Gabriel Gabriel Munoz. Gabi Munoz. Gabi Munoz plays first. I saw this all through social media. How was the damn content, uh, competition, babe? The contest was really exciting. Uh, the park was really huge. Where was it again, bro? Barcelona. In Barcelona, Spain. In your backyard, in, in your own uh, backyard. In, in my town. own backyard, yeah. <laughs> That's the, sick. <laughs> the band is huge. The, it's called Extreme Barcelona. Yeah, yes, they yes. They also have scooter, BMX, skateboard, inline, and streetboarding. Fresh. So it's pretty cool because like they shred all the all the different kind of disciplines, and yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool and good exposure for us. And what what was the turnout for the extra, for the Extreme Barcelona? What do you mean? How many people? Oh, good, uh, good turnout. Thirty to forty thousand people. Oh, thirty to forty thousand. You see, this is why I'm so pumped because I love snakeboarding. Like, I, I, I message Serge every once in a while, like, it's in my DNA, man. Like, just the, the other day, I was like, it's like, yeah. in my DNA, this is what I've been doing ever since I was like 14 years old, you know? No one ever heard of this thing. I just saw the back of a bodyboard magazine I used to have, yeah. like an old surf bodyboard magazine. Yeah. Kelly Dean just doing just, just the, just the jump. Nothing big, not even yeah. off the steps. He's just like, just in the air, you know? Yeah. I was like, what is that board, you know? Ladies and gents, for everybody that's tuning in right now, checking out Sergi Nicholas, world champion, even though he was in second, I mean, there is first, second, third, come on. It, it, it's all dependent upon luck at that point, you know? Certain tricks, you know, yeah. they land. I mean, come on, you, you, you were the world champ though a year prior or something? Yeah, I've been world champion 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> 10 time world champion, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen, I am humbled and I am just absolutely grateful, Sergi, that you and Katie took the time to come out and chill. Well, you did. You made all the effort to come here. I was, man. Just, I was just on the Long Island River, ladies and gents. You'll see all this. I did all this in. 
But, it, you know, I haven't been on the train probably about a year. You know, we come back like yearly to see the family because all my family's out on the islands, in Long Island. They call it Strong Island. If you notice, people out in New York can be very fast and aggressive. Oh, forget about it. That's how I grew up, okay? I gave you a real New York forget about it, too. <laughs> and it was so, I was so inspired coming in because I knew that there was a reason that we met here. We could have met in California, you know? Yeah. I mean, we could have easily we met in Cali. We tried. We tried. Yeah. You know, like, because I, which now you guys got to come on by. Now you know I'm a real person. <laughs> it was all through social media. <laughs> and the Mrs. Lisa, Lisa TSP, the subjective perspective as we are the, that's our musical duo in our podcast. Um, she would uh, cook you the most beautiful meal. Hopefully. Okay, so we we'll do a little there. skate session. We have some rad parks there that you would yeah. shred and people I would be always, blown I, out of their mind. I always see that your posts and videos and photos, they're great. Thank you, Serge. Uh, did you see the full pipe? Yeah. I, I found that that's in Santa Cruz, that park. Uh, you know, again, guys, I, I messaged Sergi. I, I can't do big tricks anymore. You know, That's I used to fine. just, I used to just, you know, I was sort of like the guy that is just feeling man. You know, like I just love. It's just like surfing the cement. You know, yeah, I, I wish I was totally. right now. Totally. But we're gonna be back out here, and yeah. we're gonna be at a lot of other places together. And because this is what happens when people truly are passionate. Serge, you did this sport, brother. When straight up, not a lot of people really knew about it. Whoa. It was it was known, but I think that you and the new the new blood are bringing it to a whole new level, brother. And I am so friggin' inspired, man. Okay, I want you to know that because I, I've come around in my life again. Sna I've always had my snake board. I've always jumped on it, even in my years when I was, you know, sick and I had things happening in life and you know, and to be here, you know, with you two, Katie and Sergi. You know, it's an it's an honor, and it, it, it's a blessing in so many regards because uh, this is, you know, if you ever talk to my family, if you ever met my family, you know, they're they're a snakeboard family, okay? Like they <laughs> they took me to all these like competitions, or, you know, they would always like support yeah. me. So um, I just want you to know, everybody, that uh, Nick here. Founder of this city's first snakeboard team, Liberty. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Back in '95, uh, I'm gonna be here to support snakeboarding, I should say streetboarding, as snakeboarding is no longer the term, as the patent was, uh, I guess, I think it was bought out years back for yeah. uh, some, something like the higher management thing. So when I refer to snakeboarding, everybody, never to diminish the, the respect for streetboarders, ever. I just, that's what I knew it as, you know? Yeah, that's what course. it was a force of habits. So many people still know it as a snakeboard. What do you think about that, brother? Like, is, what is the deal, like, are, are we trying to essentially like phase out snakeboard and usher in streetboard? Well, they, or keep a little history going with the snakeboard and jazz? The thing is like the old people that used to ride like 20, 15 years ago here and everywhere in the world basically, they know it as a snakeboard. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Like that's right. when I try to like say like, oh, that's a streetboard and they're like, oh, that kind of looks like an old snakeboard. Oh, that's cool. That's and cool. They say that to you. They know, it's like, oh, that looks like a, something similar that I saw years ago, had like a thing and <laughs> so basically it's the same. I mean, yeah, it's yes. the same thing. Yes. So, I mean, Sometimes some sports have different names. Like there's another yeah, guy. Yeah. There's another guy like like biking, BMXing, or like you know what I'm saying. It's just like, like certain terms. Yeah. So I mean, there's another guy in California that is calling it pivot board. I don't know if you ever heard about. Wait, what is it called? The people's board? Pivot board. People board. Pivot. Pivot. Pivot board. I heard the pivot board. Yes. <laughs> but I thought that was like that. I thought he just meant the technology, the person. They're trying to actually change the name of it, the pivot board. Also. What um and respect. No disrespect for the fellow who's doing pivot boards. He's very interested in this now. What is the deal on that? Is he creating his own boards? He actually, well, he's a guy from Argentina. His name is Pipo Grosso. Oh, yes. Yes, I've seen social media. Yes. So he's the one who started that thing. And then this guy, Rick Lowe, following up because it yes. makes more sense to him. I've heard of Rick Lowe also. So he's making his own boards in California. And okay, interesting. His boards are called whiteboards. The whiteboards? Yeah, he makes them at his garage. They're pretty cool. Are those the ones that have sort of the plates that like come like, like they're like sort of like cut off that are like on the, that might be the ascent board, or might be the ascent or dimension board. I don't know. Well, so his whole boards are white. Okay. Okay. Then the ascent boards are the guys from Sacramento. Ah, oh, they're from Sac. Those guys. Yeah. This, okay. This guy is David Allgood. What is the deal with? Sacramento shout out first off in the hizzy getting dizzy no cow. Um, you guys invited me to Tahoe 
You yeah. want to know the reality? You might not have thought I was even being honest. Sergi, I swear to you, dog. Everybody, um, I had a car issue. I don't even know what the no, heck the car a, issue was. Fine, oh, no, no. Fine. It was a brake thing. It was my brakes and my rotors, ladies and gentlemen. Go back and check out the messages. Basically, we got those done, like, I think it was that weekend. It was crazy, brother. And I was like, there's a reason it didn't happen, because now we're right here. You know yeah, what I'm saying, dog? Sure. You know what I'm saying, brother? <laughs> this is straight up. And I say old blood and new blood, but this man's old blood already. This is New York snakeboarding, streetboarding at its finest. You all know it. My NY, my NY skateboarding boys, Ricky, EJ, Shawnee, all my crew out in New York City, Strong Island. You know me. You know we shredded this place. Ten-time world mother jumping champ, my man, Sergi <laughs> Nicholas. Now that New York will come out, I've been in Cali for seven years, so <laughs> I try to keep it chilling. Look at this. You guys want to go for a walk or something like that? Maybe get something cold to drink as I'm like sweating over here? Yeah, I think sure. We'll sit back a little bit and just yeah. kick back a little bit. Because we'll yeah. I know you guys have to do some stuff. You got some museums to go to, all that jazz. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be in your hair. All I know is this. This made my year. I'm not going to be in your hair. This made my year. Uh. <laughs> we rhyme in New York. You know what I'm <laughs> And um, can I just do this one rhyme? Ragtown Boys wrote this song back in 1998. About 99, I wrote this rhyme. Me and my boys used to rhyme all through New York City, okay? All through Long Island. We just be skating all through the city from Brooklyn, you know, to the Bronx, you know, Long Island. And we would, you know, have you ever seen the movie Kids? Yeah. Okay? Um, I had the opportunity to skate with a couple of those guys. One guy, Harold Hunter in the movie. Yeah. I skated with Harold at, and this is pretty cool, search, at the first, like, X Games Roadshow for Snakeboarding. They invited wow. me. It was an honor. Kelly Dean, Andy Cash, Jay Baby, all Everybody came was out. There. Everybody was there. It's in the Daily Trout. Um, I broke my wrist there. It was in 1995-96. I graduated high school in 96 with a broken wrist from the X Games at the State Party, the road Damn. show. So it wasn't like the X Games that was in Providence, Rhode Island. They were going around trying to like... That was the get, first year. No, it was the first year, brother. First year. Then. Uh, they were trying to get people to know about it. So at the South Street Seaport downtown in uh, Manhattan over here, not far from Chinatown where you guys were, mm -hmm. they had you know, a bunch of ramps set up. But the, it, the whole ground was bricks, man. And like there was cracks in the bricks. So, you know, snake boarding, that could be a little street boarding, that'd be crazy. Those pebbles are your, are yeah. your enemy at certain times. Yeah. So I ended up hitting the death box, which was basically just two quarter ramps to like the flat box and a grind bar. So I was, I shot up off the quarter pipe, 50 50 in the grind bar. And then I went down the kink and my front trucks came off, fell six feet, wrist underneath my back, broke the wrist that day at the X Games. But it was <laughs> one of the sickest things I got to see because. We had some of the greatest skaters in Harold Hunter from the movie Kids, who skated for Zoo York. Yeah, he, he was, was there, there skating with us. Uh, a bunch of the, a bunch of the Zoo York guys came out and skated with us. Um, and my buddies now, all my uh, good buddies, all my boys I grew up with, uh, from NY Skateboarding. Uh -huh. That's you know, and and just not to pick up names to drop those names and but and pick them up, but you know, now that they're in this industry deep in the skateboard industry, yeah. you know, like the Vans Warehouse and all that stuff. I see them post the pictures, and I had my boy Ricky on our talk show, um, and he talks all about what they do with NY Skateboarding. Cool. Um, you know, it's it's incredible to see how we've all come to a beautiful place in our life. And Sergi, my brother, I just want to get us going now to some cold drinks. Can we get something cold to drink? Sure, okay? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, 10-time world champion of streetboarding, the great Sergi Nicholas on the Subjective Perspective vlog series. Your boy, Nick TSP and Katie filming. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Make sure Peace this thing out. is filming. Hey? All right, so now we're in New York City, Central Park West, everybody. You already know what it is. Sergi, so, so when you're doing the mega ramps, right. dude, like, what goes through your thought process when you're like, what is it, like 50 feet up, whatever it is? Uh, my thinking, like, hope not to die. And the, <laughs> and the adrenaline that you get. Hope not to die, baby. <laughs> and I never get this Yay! kind of crazy <laughs> adrenaline inside of my body. Like, my whole body's like shaking. <laughs> Every time you drop, it's like a new life you get. That's, you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know this too, man. You're looking at a man who's drug free, this man, just so you all know. You can get I your most like, inspiring I look, I look, thoughts. I look, I, look, I look like a stoner, but I'm not. <laughs> He's not, man. <laughs> I don't think you can do what this man does. But I'll tell you this. This is an inspiration for all you kids out there. Stay on the right track, man. Follow your heart. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Get the physique like this, man. Do some flips. You do flips, don't you? Yeah, of course. You double. do big flips. Yeah. You did the double? Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. I'm with a 10-time world tramp streetboarder here doing double flips. And, yo, 
I just want to say, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take Christian to soy in this. Christian, do you, you already know what I think about you, brother. I love you, my man. And when I saw you with Sergi, I was blown out of my mind because I was like, I just had Christian on the talk show. And then me and you just started connecting. I was like, this is crazy, man. I was like, I got Sergi Christian chilling now. Christian Hasoy, thank you for inspiring us, brother. Straight up and down. Love you, kid. We're by Trump Towers. Right there, guys, on the corner. It's not there no more, but there's a building. It was the Columbus Circle Civic Center. And it was, they, they knocked it down like two years later, but I skated with Matt Hoffman, BMX fighter, right? Mike Frazier, skateboarder. Kelly Dean was there. We did the trade show right over here, right behind that globe. So this is Trump Towers, which is, there's the Trump Towers. Um, but that building right there, guys, was Columbus Circle, Columbus, Columbus Circle Civic Center. That's a new building. That's all new stuff. But this is one of my old buildings I used to stay. This is right where Times Square is. Yes. Love y'all. What's up, everybody? So I just had an incredible time with my man Sergi Nicholas, world champ street border, out of Spain, and now we heading back out to Long Island, New York. We are in the subway station, headed to the one train. Take me back to Penn Station. It's a humid day out here in New York, as you can see me dripping with sweat. But it was one of the most beautiful days in history. Street border, don't ever stop. Sergi, we love you, brother. Katie, too. You guys were incredible today. We'll see you. Years ago, it's been a bunch of years, but how it's how it feels out here. New York, born and raised, Cali living, growing old. And this is the Russian Manhattan, ladies and gents. Tremendous choice And when 